This video will show you how to assemble the Mega Max Go-Kart. If this is your first Mega Moto purchase, please allow me to be the first to welcome you to the Mega Moto family. Before you begin assembly, we recommend watching this video in full prior to removing the go-kart from the steel shipping crate. Making sure you understand all instructions before you begin is important to your safety. Assembly for this Mega Moto go-kart will take about 15 to 30 minutes, depending on your experience level. Here's a list of tools you'll need to complete assembly. Make sure you have protective gloves, something to safely cut open the box and wires with, an adjustable wrench, and pliers. Everything else is included in the toolkit. First things first, let's unpack the Mega Max go-kart. Please make sure you're wearing protective gloves. After cutting the white straps, open the carton top and remove the large Ziploc bag that contains the assembly instructions, owner's manual, toolkit, and a bag of fasteners and hardware needed for assembly. Remove the four wheels which are placed on the cart seat. Lift the carton at the front of the cart and let it rest on the rear side of the carton. Pull the steel shipping frame and the cart out of the carton. Move the carton out of the way and lower the front of the cart. Loosen and remove the eight nuts and bolts that secure the top of the shipping frame to the lower part. There are four nuts and bolts on each side. Lift up and discard the upper portion of the steel shipping frame and the two side supports. Loosen and remove the nuts, bolts, brackets, and the foam that secures the rear axle to the shipping crate. Then, loosen and remove the nuts, bolts, brackets, and foam that secure the front of the cart to the shipping crate. Remove the zip tie that secures the key to the rear axle keyway. Make sure that both the small hole in the threaded portion of the axle and the key are facing up. Find the slot in the rear wheel. This should line up with the key in the axle. Make sure the valve stem is facing out, away from the cart. Install the rear wheel. Install the flat washer and nut with the slots and the nut facing out. Tighten the nut with the supplied wrench and make sure a slot in the nut aligns with the hole in the axle. Place the cotter pin in the hole in the axle with the longer end of the cotter pin facing out. Bend out and up the longer end of the cotter. Bend the shorter end of the cotter in. Install the other rear wheel the same way. Install the front wheel on the front axle, making sure the valve stem is facing out. Install the flat washer and nut with the slots and the nut facing out. Tighten the nut with a supplied wrench and make sure a slot in the nut aligns with the hole in the axle. Place the cotter pin in the hole in the axle with the longer end of the cotter pin facing out. Bend out and up the longer end of the cotter. Bend the shorter end of the cotter in. Install the other front wheel the same way. Remove the nut and bolt from the steering bracket. Lift the steering shaft up, pull up the black plastic steering shaft bracket, and rotate it so that the mounting hole is on top. 
Align the mounting hole with the hole in the steering bracket and install the nut and bolt. Using the wrenches provided, tighten the nut and bolt. Install the front bumper on the two studs on the front of the go-kart frame. Install the two nuts and bolts and tighten with the wrenches provided. Install the two wires on the two connectors of the switch on the steering cover. Either wire can go on either connector. Place the steering cover on the front bumper and the bracket near the steering wheel. Insert two black screws into two black plastic washers and install them through the holes in the front cover, then thread them into the holes in the bumper bracket. Only hand tighten the screws for now. Install the two screws and plastic washers on the rear of the steering cover, near the steering wheel. Tighten with the supplied screwdriver. Now, tighten the two screws on the front of the steering cover with the supplied screwdriver. Place the roll bar over the brackets on the go-kart frame as shown. Install two bolts through one side of the roll bar and then install two nuts on those bolts and hand tighten. Install the two bolts and nuts on the other side and hand tighten. Place the roll bar support on the rear of the cart, long straight tube down, bend and shorter straight tube up. Push the shorter threaded bolt through the hole in the top of the roll bar and into the end of the roll bar support. Hand tighten. Push the longer threaded bolt through the bottom of the go-kart frame and into the bottom of the roll bar support. Hand tighten. Tighten the bolt at the top of the roll bar support. Then the bolt at the bottom of the roll bar support using the smaller hex wrench. With the larger hex wrench and a wrench, tighten the four roll bar bolts and nuts. Pull the seat adjuster out and move the seat forward. Unscrew the orange oil filler cap and pour in 12 ounces of 10W30 motor oil. Replace the oil filler cap. Add gasoline to the fuel tank. Located on the front of the engine, under the fuel tank, rotate the fuel valve one quarter turn counterclockwise to turn on the fuel. Lift up the black switch cover and push the switch toggle up. This is the on position. Push the choke lever forward to the start position. Pull the starter cord up and back quickly to start the engine. Once the engine has warmed, push the choke lever back to the run position. You're all set to start enjoying your new Mega Max go-kart. If you need any further support, please don't hesitate to reach out to our team at support at megamotousa.com. From the Mega Moto family to yours, congratulations on your new Mega Max go-kart. We hope your go-kart gives you the full Megamoto experience, pure, unconditional fun.